In this video, we're doing volumes of solids with known cross-sections, and this time the known cross-section is going to be an equilateral triangle. Again, uh, we call this Plato problem. Uh, we're going to be integrating the area function, always the area function, and it's the area of an equilateral triangle. Uh, you might not remember from geometry, but the formula for the area of an equilateral triangle is radical 3 over 4 side squared. Well, so let's think about that. If our cross-section is an equilateral triangle, then notice the side length of our triangle is our top function minus our bottom function. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to multiply by radical 3 over 4, and then I'm going to want to square that. So I don't like the radical 3 over 4, so I go ahead and bump that out in front of my integral sign. And my bounds, they were fortunate to give us 0 to 1 half. And I'm going to have my top function minus my bottom function squared dx. Notice again, it is about the x-axis, so everything is in terms of x. My top function... Well, from here, the furthest one away and the closest to the x-axis. So my top function is g of x. My bottom function is f of x. And again, it's squared because my formula for my area function is radical 3 over 4 side squared. Uh, if this was a no calculator problem, we would integrate by hand, plug in, and finish. If it's a calculator problem, you would throw it in your calculator. Be careful how you type 